routine. So we'll get you to go up, but when you do this one, I'm just gonna get you to do it end of range. This position, one legged, we'll get you to do 50. We'll get you to do a drive in this position for the glute max. And we'll go through and work up to 100 while you're on the floor. We'll get you obviously do your uh, lift for your 100 Vs for your glute. Um, we'll get you, if you've got a Swiss ball, we'll get you to go through and uh, I'll use a bit of elastic when I do this one. <laughs> So these are your hamstrings. We'll get you to do 50 like so. Just make sure you hit, leave, leave the hips up. When you get there, huh? you can actually just go through and do it one legged. Keep the band there. It'll turn on the glute lead on this side at the same time. 50 as well. We'll get you to go through and obviously do your glute lead strengthening. Uh, 50. Uh, sorry, uh, two minutes on each of those. Uh, we'll get you to in the gym. Um, I'm just going to use some elastic, but I will get you to do your hamstring curls just in this position. And we'll get you to go through and do this about 50 of those, more at the end of range. Do you have a Smith machine? So I'll get you to start doing a, a drive. So do this one. Up like so. Right up onto your tippy toe. Sets of 10, five. Uh, triple extension in that position. And the last one for a glute max is you sit down in this position, which will give you good glute extension. Before you do all of these exercises, I'd go through and do your dynamic warm up. I wouldn't do too much static stretching. And ooh, I probably would finish off with just single leg calf raises in this position. Like so, thanks. <laughs>